Yo, what is up you guys? Zumi Fiasco here and I have early access to the week 5 challenges and I'm going to show you how to complete them all in just 5 minutes. Let's start that timer. Here we go, challenge number 1. Deal damage with SMGs to opponents you need 500 damage total. Whether it be from a tactical SMG or a suppressed SMG, either one is absolutely fine. All you need to do once you find one of these guns is simply deal damage you guys. Now keep in mind this will average to about 4 eliminations when you take into account player health and player shields. So find a gun, start shooting, and start dealing damage. You'll get this done before you know it. Challenge number 2 is search chests in Dusty Divot. You need 7 chests total just like any other previous week challenge when it comes to searching chests. This is going to be crazy and I'm going to show you some hot spots real quick that you can get chests rather easily and quickly, but you will see a lot of opponents going these same routes. So first you want to jump in that dump truck and then head to the side room where 2 chests can potentially spawn. And then you want to head to the centermost point of Dusty Divot where the meteor is actually located and you can find a chest spawn here as well. Once you get done with that, keep in mind there are side buildings throughout Dusty Divot you can find chests in. They're simply up on little ledges and once you search those, don't forget about the actual semi trucks within Dusty Divot. These are located in numerous spots. You can jump in the back of them, smack a crate or two, and you can find a chest that way. Also don't forget on the outskirts if there are more trucks you can find chests in, and there are also shipping containers you can find chests in under the remains of the old depot factory. Now also the depot factory has two potential chest spawns so don't forget about that. This might be a good safe place to go to get chests as well. Now if you are lucky enough to find a port of four early game there is also an ice cream truck lodged into the side of the hill and all you need to do is throw your port of four at the ice cream truck to destroy it and hopefully reveal a chest as well. Now I'd like to think this can help you guys get this done in two to three games tops. Get out there and find those chests. Challenge number 3 is use a jetpack. You only need to do this one time. It's not that difficult at all to use a jetpack and navigate with it. However, the challenge here is actually finding a jetpack in the first place. Since this is a legendary tier item, it is pretty hard to find these in a chest. This is more luck than anything. So more than likely what's going to happen is you're going to find a jetpack on an opponent's back. Keep an open ear to this because jetpacks make a very distinct sound. And also visually, if you see someone using a jetpack off in the distance, you can definitely tell. So what you want to do is push this opponent, eliminate them, take their jetpack, and use it for yourself to complete this challenge. <laughs> Challenge number 4 this week is kind of a tricky one and it is search gravity stones and you need to search 7 total. Now when I first heard gravity stones I immediately thought of hop rocks because when we consume hop rocks in game we are able to jump really high defying gravity and not taking any fall damage. However when I searched gravity stones on google I found this image here and immediately I remembered a location that had something that looked just like it. So as you can see here this thing pretty much mimics that image and what a gravity stone is is a bunch of stones stacked in a offset formation to where gravity actually kind of holds them together like glue unlike other things like balance and stuff like that and it looks really cool. So obviously they're going to need to add a lot more of these in the game for us to be able to search 7 total and get this challenge completed. Now as soon as I figure out where all 7 of these gravity stones are located, I will be pinning a comment down below with a link to an image that will show you guys where every single one is located and that way you guys can get this challenge done as quickly as possible. Challenge number 5 in this week's treasure is follow the treasure map found in Greasy Grove. Now that's pretty simple, you guys don't need to go to Greasy Grove, I have the map for you here on screen right now. And as you can see, it kind of resembles a face, points to the west side of the map, and the X is right in the middle of that face. So, this is actually located right in front of Snobby Shores at the Villain's Lair. As you guys can see, this face pretty much mimics the map, and once you land on the nose, if the treasure battle star does not pop up right away, all you need to do is knock out the staircase here and land on this little platform, and it might be located here as well. So do not back out, make sure you get eliminated, or you win the game, or you eliminate yourself, just make sure you complete the match in order for this to count. Challenge number 6 this week is minigun or light machine gun eliminations and you need 2 total. Now this can be pretty difficult because these weapons are very hard to control, but at a close range they can work pretty effectively. They are initially intended to shoot down opponent structures and things like that rather quickly versus an assault rifle or a submachine gun, but now we need to actually shoot directly at our opponents to get eliminations with them. So what you want to do as soon as you find one of these guns is just spray and pray, or you can go into duos and squads and once you knock an opponent, you can run on over to them and eliminate them easily with your minigun or light machine gun that way and get this challenge done quickly and easily. Alright, here we are with our last challenge. Challenge number 7, eliminate opponents in lucky landing, and you need to get 3 eliminations total. Pretty self-explanatory, it says it in the fine print there. All you need to do is stalk your opponents, prey on them like a predator, watch where they're going, land relatively close, 
get yourself a gun, rush in, whether you have a shotgun, pistol, doesn't matter, you're going to be going to Lucky Landing a couple times. You want to get these eliminations done as quickly as possible, so you have to be aggressive, so your opponents don't take your kills. And that's it, you guys. Once you get your guns, deal your damage, knock them down, and get your elimination. Alright everyone, that is 5 minutes. I hope this video really helps you in getting on that grind towards those awesome new dance moves and emotes along with those great looking skins, grinding those battle pass tiers to get the best skin of all, the Omega. I will see you all in the next one, later.